Now in this part then we've got to find the stationary point then for the curve y equals gf of x. Now we already know that gf of x we showed from an earlier part it was 8x cubed minus 1 all divided by 1 minus 2x cubed. And when we're finding a stationary point it's where the gradient of the curve equals 0. And to get the gradient we need to differentiate y with respect to x. So how do we do it for something like this? Well just a quick reminder what we use is the quotient rule and that is if you've got y equals a function of x let's call it u over another function of x call it v so in this example u is the 8x cubed minus 1 and v is 1 minus 2x cubed using the quotient rule you should know that it's dy by dx equals v that's the bottom multiplied by the differential of the top du dx minus the top that's u times the differential of the bottom dv dx all divided by the bottom squared that's v squared the quotient rule then all right so let's go straight in and do that then so according to the formula then it's the bottom of the fraction so we'll have 1 minus 2x cubed multiplied by the differential of the top so that's going to be 24 x squared okay put everything in brackets then it's minus and then we got u dv dx which is essentially the top multiplied by the differential of the bottom so differentiating the bottom we get minus 6x squared and it's all divided by v squared or essentially the square of the denominator so 1 minus 2x cubed all squared now at stationary points dy dx is say equals 0 so that means that the numerator must equal 0 but before we go on let's just say therefore at stationary points rather than just carrying out the calculation it's a good idea just to give the reader some idea what we're doing at stationary points dy by dx equals 0 so therefore it means that the top will equal 0 so we'll put that in now let's clean this top up as well let's just put the 24x squared at the front of the bracket 1 minus 2x cubed and we can see that minus minus here gives us a plus so we've got plus 6x squared multiplied by 8x cubed minus 1 and that equals 0 what I'd want to do next I could multiply this out in fact what I'm going to do is try and factorize it because if it equals 0 we can then go on, on and put each factor equal to 0 and I feel that that would be easier than expanding it and what I notice is that we have got a 3 no we haven't we've got a 6 actually that's in common with both of these so let's have a 6 here we've got an x squared term that's common so I'll put x squared there and then I'm going to put a big square bracket because I can anticipate that we're going to have curved brackets in here so I need another 4 to multiply this 6 to get the 24 I've got my x squared and all I need now is 1 minus 2x cubed and then for here we've got the 6x squared out the front we've just got this bracket so we'll put that in there we've got 8x cubed minus 1 put that in brackets close the square bracket equals 0 let's tidy this up inside here we've got 6x squared I'll release the square bracket to a curved bracket and I can see we've got 4 times 1 is 4 I've also got minus 1 down here so that's going to be 3 I've got 4 times minus 2x cubed that's minus 8x cubed and we've got plus 8x cubed so that's basically it so we've therefore got 18x squared and that equals 0 so clearly x squared is equal to 0 which means that x equals 0 now we're asked to find the coordinates of the stationary point so now we've got 
x equals 0, all I need to do is substitute this back up into here to get y. I could actually number this equation if you like. There you go, number 1, and I can say down here sub x equals naught into 1. And if we do that, you can see that if we put 0 in, we get 0 for this term, and we're just left with minus 1 on the top, and 1 minus nothing here is just 1, so we've got minus 1 over 1, which is minus 1. So y is going to be minus 1. So therefore, y equals minus 1. So in conclusion, we have got, therefore, the stationary point okay, is, in fact, the point with coordinates x is naught, y is minus 1. Okay, and that brings us now to the end of this question.